In today's video, we are going to continue the conversation about the lighting on my module by taking an in-depth look of the DCC control possibilities of the system. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. This is the NCE Illuminator, the DCC controlled lighting decoder that I'm utilizing on my module. These decoders can be purchased directly from NCE or from your local hobby shop as either single decoders or in packages of five. The manuals can be downloaded from the NCE website. The connectors on the decoder are designed to be plug and play with the Woodland Scenic Just Plug LED lights. The maximum current draw of each illuminator is 100 milliamps. They do not specifically state the max draw for each output, but for my project, I've stayed under 33 milliamps. The illuminators can be powered with either DCC or DC, but there's limited operation on DC. There is a built-in warm white LED on output number one. The programming button on the decoder is gold in color. The three outputs are labeled white green, yellow, and red, but I refer to them as outputs one through three. You can have different lighting effects on each output, and each output is individually dimmable. The decoder can be either an accessory decoder, a mobile decoder, or a signal decoder. In this video, I am only going to be talking about the accessory and mobile options. The decoders are programmed on the main track output, not the programming track output of your control system. To program the decoder as an accessory decoder, you choose which accessory address you would like to use. You press the programming button on the decoder so that the onboard LED flashes. The LED on the first output will also flash. Then you throw the switch on your DCC system for the accessory address you want for the decoder and the light on the decoder will go off. In accessory mode, the decoder can have each output be a different effect and each output can be a different brightness. But in accessory mode, all three outputs get turned on or off together. They are either all on at their set effect and brightness or all off. The decoders are supposed to come with the default of each output set to effect one steady on. But in my experience, they were actually set to effect two, which is slow flashing. If on initial setup, the LEDs do periodically go off, it is likely you need to program CV 137, 138, and 139 to effect one. One thing that was important to me for the lighting on my module was to be able to control the on and off of each output separately. I am interested in programming day to night or night to day scenes, and to match my vision, I need the additional control. For a while, I was trying to use the decoders as accessory decoders, because it makes sense that for lighting, I would use them as accessories. But I realized that for what I wanted to accomplish, having all three outputs on off controlled together was not going to work. What I discovered is that if I program the decoders with the mobile or locomotive option, then I could use the function buttons to control each output. So by addressing them as mobile decoders, I could still have a different effect and brightness on each output, but I could also control the on and off of each output separately. Since there are 28 functions for each locomotive address, I could use one locomotive address and set up 28 groups of lighting control per address. On this module, I have eight decoders with 21 individually connected LEDs, but I have programmed them to be controlled in 14 groups. All of the illuminators are programmed as mobile decoder address 101, and the function buttons are mapped as follows. F0 is the station platforms, F1 is the depot and flag, F2 through 7 are the shop lighting, F8 is the entry hallway light, F9 is the television, and F11 through F15 are the second floor lights. Now we are going to look into more detail on how to program the CVs for the illuminators as set up as mobile decoders. To set the mobile address, you program on main, set the address to the number you want to program, and you set CV1 to a value of 1. Then you press the programming button so the light flashes on the decoder and hit the send button in your software or on your throttle to send the values to the decoder. The light will stop flashing. One thing that I learned is to program the other CVs on the decoder, you do not need to hit the programming button. For my use, what this means is that I need to set each decoder to a unique address to program the CVs then as the last step, go back and program all of the decoders to the same address. In practice, I ended up programming all of the addresses first. So what I am doing is changing the decoder that I want to program to address 102, programming that decoder, then changing the address back to 101, 
then moving on to the next decoder. I have created a spreadsheet to keep track of all of the CVs for all of the decoders on my module. It is here that I am documenting which function buttons I am using, which effects are applied to each LED, as well as the brightness set for each LED. I spent a while tweaking all of the CVs until I liked the brightness and effects on each LED. I am sure that I will continue to adjust them as I weather the buildings and continue adding scenery details. Ultimately, I want to automatically program the day to night scenes, but for now, let's manually control a scene change. As the scene changes, take note of how I've used different colored LEDs to bring a different focus to each section. There are cool white LEDs, warm white LEDs, a blue LED, and an orange LED. If you want to see how the LEDs and the illuminators were installed on this module, please check out my video numbered 25. Welcome to Main Street, USA. As the sun sets, the lights on the train platforms in the depot come on. It looks like one of the station platform lights is having an issue, and I will need to call Sparky to come over and fix it. All of the shop lighting is on as the merchants are finishing up for the day. As the shops start to close down, the proprietors retire to their upstairs apartments. It looks like one of the residents is watching a bit of TV. As the depot closes, the platform lights are shut off for the night. It looks like all of our residents have gone to sleep, except for our night owl still watching TV. It is possible that he fell asleep on the couch again while watching. As the lights go out, the residents of Main Street USA are recharging their bodies to start the process all over again tomorrow. I am looking forward to all of the possibilities that I will be able to create on this module using DCC controlled lighting. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day.